everyone. So welcome to our children's story. And I have got a question. Who is the greatest person you know? In other words, who do you consider really awesome? Well, I'm going to answer that. For me, when I was little, I thought Dwayne Johnson, a.k.a. The Rock, was really great. I thought it was great because it was so athletic. He was a good wrestler. He was a good actor. He had a nice smile and everyone loved him. So I thought he was really great. So my second question is, who do you think Jesus thinks is great? Well, we'll find out the answer to that in our gospel story today. So I and some of my familiar friends would act out a scene that took place between Jesus and his disciples on a journey as they traveled through Galilee. So stay tuned. Hey, Peter. Hey, Nathan. Did you hear what Jesus just said? Yeah, yeah he said something really weird about um, people killing him and him dying and rising again in three days and all of that. Yeah, that is really weird. But it really got me thinking, though. If something were to happen to Jesus, if Jesus goes, one of us would have to take over and it has to be someone really great. Well, it's going to be me, of course. You, Peter? Yeah, I am the greatest. After all, Jesus calls me the rock. And he said he would build his church on me. Well, that doesn't make you the greatest, Peter. Jesus says, I am a man of integrity. And that makes me the greatest. When did Jesus say that, Nathan? Jesus said that. He said, there is Nathan, a man of integrity. Well, that doesn't make you great either, Nathan. Do you guys really think you're the greatest? I am the greatest. Everyone knows that. Um, John, I don't know who knows that. Yeah, everyone knows that Jesus really loves me. And Jesus calls me the son of thunder. No, Jesus calls you and James the son of thunder. So that doesn't really make you special. What are you guys arguing about? I think you guys were arguing about who is great. Yes, Jesus, we were arguing about that. Well, the greatest person is not really what you think or whom you think it is. Actually, the least among you is the greatest and the greatest among you is the least. What does that mean, Jesus? And let me explain it. Whomever wants to be great has to be a servant, has to be the lowest person. A servant? Yeah, willing to like do the job nobody else wants to do, help those in need. That kind of stuff. Hey, Jesus, you're back. Um, little Lydia, we're having an important grown-up conversation with Jesus. Do you want to go outside and play for a little bit? Um, I think you should leave Lydia. Actually, Lydia illustrates the point I was just making. You might think she's little, but she's actually great in God's sight. So anyone who welcomes little kids like Lydia in my name welcomes me and welcomes God because in God's sight, kids are great. Wow, that is awesome, Jesus. Okay, friends, isn't that awesome? that Jesus thinks kids are great. And even more awesome is here on earth, whoever we consider great is actually different from what Jesus considers great. Jesus said something really important, that the least would be the greatest and the greatest would be the least in heaven. And what does that mean? That means that Jesus flips things around, topsy turvy here on earth, what we consider great are people who really win at something, people who are really great at something, and we celebrate them and everybody thinks they're great. For example, if someone wins the Olympic, they get a gold medal. Or if somebody's really good at school and academic work, they get a scholarship. If someone is great at their job, they get a promotion. 
If somebody wins the Oscars, they get a trophy. If you win the Super Bowl, you get a gold ring. So yeah, the people who win here and at are celebrated and we think they're great. But Jesus tells us that in heaven, all of that doesn't really matter. Now, when you celebrate it here on earth, you already have your reward. You get your Oscar or your gold ring or your scholarship or your promotion. Yeah, you're very much rewarded here on earth. But in heaven, Jesus wants us to win at things that really matter in order for heaven to think we're great. He wants us to win at things that really, really matters in heaven. So what matters to Jesus? What makes us great? Jesus wants us to serve, to have the hat of a servant, which means helping those in need, doing a job that nobody else wants to do, encouraging others. And even though it's not really easy, but Jesus wants us to practice, practice as be, at being of service, of help to others every single day. And even though no one might be cheering you up or applauding you, Jesus and all of heaven is cheering you up as you serve others. And most importantly and more exciting, Jesus thinks kids are great and he wants everyone to welcome kids in his name. Even, isn't that awesome, kids? Jesus thinks you're great even though you're little. So you're welcome. Thanks for joining us today and have yourself a great week. God bless you and go on being great and awesome and go on serving others. Uh -huh.